Hi, my name is Chris Arndt, and I'd like to talk about the Users section of the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to talk about the kinds of users that there are, setting up registration for those users, and how the registration process works. So WordPress is a content management system that's designed for different kinds of users to get together and work on the same blog-themed website. Each of these different kinds of users will have different permissions that will make it where they can only edit what you want them to so that they won't get into anything they're not allowed to. The five kinds of different users that there are are subscribers who can manage their own profiles and view articles but cannot make any sorts of posts or pages. There's contributors who can create and manage posts but cannot publish them themselves. Then there are authors who can create, manage, and publish their own posts. There are editors who can publish and manage posts and pages, and they can edit anybody else's and post anybody else's pages or posts. And then there are administrators who can do anything on the website. We are an administrator, and that's why we're allowed to go through and change appearance, themes, plugins, stuff like that. This is something that nobody else will be able to do but the administrators. In order to get new users into your blog, you're going to either have to add them yourself using the Add New feature in the Users area, or add a link to your blog so that anybody viewing it can go and handle the registration process on their own. I'll show you both ways. The first way is to click Add New under the Users group. On this page, we can go through and type in all of the information ourselves about this user. I'll go through the process right now. And I'll create a, a fake user. We'll call him the new guy, and his name will be Jack Brown. And I'll type in a fake, fake email. I won't give him a website. But I have to give him a password. Type that in twice. And then since I'm creating a fake email here, I'm going to uncheck send the password to the new user. And here at the bottom, I can choose one of the five different kinds of users that I told you about. I'm just going to click subscriber. Then I'll click add user. And they're added to our user list. And here I can click all and view all of the different kinds of users that there are. Here's me, and here's the other ones that I've added in. Another way of getting users into your website is to allow them to register themselves. In order to do this, you're going to have to do two things. First, you're going to have to go into the settings menu and set up an option to allow people to register. Then you're going to have to go into your links section and add in a registration link. So first click on settings. And then you're brought to the general settings screen. And down here where it says membership, check anyone can register. And here it says the default role is subscriber. I'm going to leave that. I don't want people to accidentally be added as a contributor or author or something like that and then start adding content to my website. I want to be able to manage that on my own if I need to. So now that I've set it up so that anybody that wants to can register, I'm going to go into the links area. Then I'm going to click add new. And up here I'm going to type in register. Underneath the web address I'm going to type in the domain of my WordPress blog and then I'm going to type in wp slash or dash register dot php so this is my domain which is the exact URL to get to your blog and this wp dash register is the page that allows new people to come and register on your website and it's only available 
if you checked that option that we just set up in the settings. Underneath description, I'm going to type in, click here to register to our blog. I'm going to add a category and I'm going to select a new window or tab for where this URL will go to and click add link. Now that that's added, I'm going to go into my, um, my blog and over here I have a register link. So you can see that now people would be able to go in and type in a username and email and then they would register and then they would be able to go through their dashboard and um, set up their own settings and stuff like that. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in a new link so that they can log in to their username and password. I'm going to type in my URL. I'm going to use this as a uh, is the web page is wp-login.php and then under the description I'm just going to type in click here to log into your dashboard. You can add this to the blog role and make it open up in a new window. And now I have this login link. So under here I'm going to type in the new guy, and I'm going to log in as him. And so you can see that he has a dashboard, but all he has is profile and tools. And here's all of his information. So this is what a new user would see as a subscriber. So I'm going to log out of that. And um, I just want to explain that, that you really want to make sure that you're only giving people the a certain number of rights. You want to give them basically the least amount they need to get the job done. So if you know that someone is pretty good at providing content, but not really good at proofreading it, then you might want to set them up as a contributor who can create and manage posts, but can't publish them. And then you can have another person set up as an editor who goes through and checks out all of the contributors' posts and then proof, proofreads them and makes sure that they're all set up for your blog. And then they can go through the process of publishing them and setting up different pages and stuff like that. And then that way, you as the owner can um, sit back and let the editors and contributors do all the work. And that was about all I wanted to accomplish today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like the new quality. I, uh, I switched over from using the Mac Camtasia to using the Windows Camtasia. And Windows, I have to say, has a lot better options um, as far as I'm concerned. So I'll be using that. But thanks for watching, and hope you check out the website and my portfolio at piercingwind.com. And have a great day.